If you mess around with MIDI at all, you probably use or are at least familiar with the Contact engine. Contact is a whole ecosystem of virtual instruments. There are countless amazing sound libraries that use it. So today we're gonna to take a gander at how to unlock the vast array of Contact's available instruments for use with Lumitone's microtonal mappings. Good morning, world. Now, in the past couple of episodes, we've been looking at different virtual instruments and how they microtune. Contact is one of the more widely used engines for virtual instruments. So, of course, it does have a microtuning function. But remember, if you're just using Lumitone's 12 EDO mappings and not the microtonal ones, any virtual instrument, including Contact, works right out of the box. But when you're working with microtonal mappings, you gotta make a couple tweaks. It's important to stress that not all sound libraries built for contact can be properly tuned microtonally. So the method I'm using in this video might not be available for all contact instruments. But when it works, it's pretty seamless. So let's dive in. So I'm gonna assume if you're watching this, you probably have a basic idea of contact. So let's just jump right into contact's microtuning abilities. Okay, so first we'll load in an instrument. Let's go with a road sound here. Now we have this global tuning knob up here, which can be useful, but it's not for accessing the microtonal maps on the Lumitone. Instead, we'll head over to the settings section by clicking this wrench icon. And we can go over to the script editor and get in there. And to find our tuning section, we go over to presets, tuning. A lot of these options give you ways to manually tune individual notes, but if we wanna work with different equally divided scales, the notes per octave function is what will get the job done super easily. As soon as it's opened, by default, it divides your octave by 24 notes. And if you got your 24 EDO Lumitone mapping pulled up, then just like that, you're ready to go. Now the 24 EDO preset uses just one MIDI channel to lay out all of its notes. But as we talked about in the Piano Tech and the Surge episode, there are Lumitone mappings that use multiple MIDI channels to lay things out. Both Piano Tech and Surge have great one-click solutions when it comes to reading sequential MIDI channels as ascending octaves. I haven't found a one-click solution in contact for this, but there are certainly workarounds that I'll explore here. I certainly don't know everything though, and folks have been super helpful in the comments with tricks and tips. So anything you might have for us, please feel free to share. Okay, for this example, let's use the 53 EDO preset. When dealing with a lot of notes per octave in one mapping, this is a common way they are mapped out. We get the same MIDI notes for each octave, but each octave is mapped to a sequentially higher MIDI channel. So let's pull in a synth sound for this. First thing we're gonna wanna do is get that notes per octave going. Script editor, tune to the tuning section, punch in 53. So now we'll see the only section we're getting sounds out of is section one, map to MIDI channel one. This is because our instrument by default is assigned to MIDI channel one, as we can see here. Now contact has the option to switch to Omni essentially meaning all MIDI channels. Now we have sounds coming from all the keys, but it's the same repeating octave across the board. So one solution to this is to add multiple copies of the same instrument in the same instance of contact, and then just assign each one to a different MIDI channel and simply use the transpose function to have each sequential MIDI channel ascend up a whole octave and pitch from the last. And once you've created this for desired mapping and instrument, you can just save it as a contact preset for easy recall later. So let's try this out. So this mapping uses five MIDI channels. So we'll go ahead and bring in five of the same instrument into the one instance of contact. Each one you add by default, it'll sequentially move the MIDI channels up. And obviously we're gonna wanna make sure each one of these is also tuned to 53. 
So we'll go ahead and do the notes per octave for each of these instruments. And now all that's left to do is to transpose each instrument so they ascend up in octaves. This mapping uses the MIDI note numbers that correspond with the middle octave on your Lumitone. So we'll leave the instrument that we assigned to MIDI channel three as it is, which will be our middle octave. But that means we want the instrument on MIDI channel one to be two octaves below the one on MIDI channel three. So if you go into the settings for our instrument on channel one, we can go down here to instrument options and under MIDI transpose, we can make adjustments. It's important to note that although we switch to 53 notes per octave, here in the transpose section, it's still recognizing a full octave switch by 12. So to drop two octaves down for our middle octave, which is represented as zero, we'll punch in minus 24. So go ahead and punch in minus 24. And now we switched all of section one to play two octaves down from our instrument on MIDI channel three. Our next octave up is on MIDI channel two. It'll be 12 up from our last, so minus 12 will give us the correct octave. Skipping ahead to the instrument on MIDI channel four, we can make that 12 since channel three was set at zero. And finally, our instrument on MIDI channel five can be bumped up to 24. Okay, so now we've got the Lumitones 53 EDO mapping fully linked up with contact. That'll get you going microtonally with Contact in your Lumitone. Contact is an awesome sound engine that has multiple ways of doing certain tasks with tons of scripting options that'll let you get as advanced as you want. So as I've said, I'd love to hear down in the comments there how the rest of you have gotten along with Lumitone and Contact. As always, be sure to subscribe. And again, thanks for watching, folks.